Hey folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. A few people ask me, hey, what's up with the lack of Wireshark tips and tricks? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm working. <laughs> I don't always use Wireshark. But uh, you know what? You're right. So here you go. It's uh, long overdue. Here's a, here's a neat little trick or tip for you. I'm working on this trace file here, and I want to filter out these uh, NBNS, these NetBIOS uh, name browser broadcasts, these ICMP packets and basically I uh, want to save them all right so the first thing I want to do is a, a display filter for NBNS and ICMP which I have right here and please remember to get your ands and ors correct so this I want NBNS or ICMP if I did and well nothing would come up right so or I've got my results here now I want to just save um, the first couple of packets because down here there's a bunch of pings I don't want the pings I just want it up to here. So I want 5, 6, 9, 10, 19, and 20. So there's a few ways to do this. Uh, one way is to just um, pick the first one, packet 5, go down to packet 20, hold the shift key, click that. You see them all highlighted? If I go to edit, I'll mark packets, control M, and there you go. See they're all black, right? These are all black now. So now all I could do, all I have to do, file, export specified packets most people erroneously go to save as don't do that come over here and it asks you down here what criteria you want to use to save your packets marked packets only there's only six of them so now i can call this thing uh, the original file name icmp x file and then i'll call this filtered nbns or icmp there you go saved done see quick and easy now if I go over to open that file here there see so I don't need this filter anymore because that's exactly what I got it makes life a heck of a lot easier when you're troubleshooting have a good day bye for now